help, they've kidnapped me. Lady Di A Modern Fairy Tale by Slobodan Radoyev My Twitch Part 3 Contra Operation Modern Fairy Tale Chapter 45 Sabotage Asterisk 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 Sabotage The Paris Police Chief Pierre notes that a normal police car from the Parisian Municipal Police has entered the tunnel. He could not prevent it in time, his own fault, he had after all given instructions to silence all police radio communications. Cursing, murd, 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 out loud. He quickly parks his police car in front of the entrance to the tunnel. Asterisk, the two French policemen approach the smashed Mercedes and illuminate the interior of the limo with a large flashlight. A policeman feels Henry's wrist. The driver is dead. The other policeman grabs the wrist of the bodyguard. This one's alive. His colleague points his flashlight on the blonde. Hey, he screams. This is Princess Diana. The other policeman runs to the other side. He bends, puts his head through the hole in the window and presses his ear against Britain's swollen breasts. The princess is alive, he yells. See if that one on the other side is still alive. The second policeman runs around the wrecked limousine and aims his flashlight at the Arab's face. This one seems dead. There's blood flowing from his mouth. His colleague stands up, grabs the walkie-talkie from his shoulder and presses a button. Commissariat, he yells. Alio, commissariat, do you hear me? The walkie-talkie is dead. Commissariat, the policeman yells again. Alio. Commissariat. The other policeman takes his own walkie-talkie. Wait a minute, man. Let me do this. Commissariat Alio. Allo. Also his walkie-talkie is deaf-mute. He walks to his car and presses a button of the police radio. Alio. Commissariat. Allo. The police radio is deaf-mute too. It's sabotage. His colleague approaches him. Well. Perhaps this bloody thing doesn't work in the tunnel. Nonsense. Our radio works even underwater. Man. This is sabotage, concludes his colleague. Drive outside. I think that before entering the tunnel I saw a police car parked on a side road. Hurry up, maybe they're still there. I'll take care of the princess. Why me? Because you're lower in rank than me, his colleague starts the engine and says his mate, you probably want to give her artificial respiration. Mouth to mouth. The other policeman brashes the comment away. Ah, oh, you imbecile. Come on man. Perhaps our colleagues are still there. In any case, there is a phone booth nearby. The police car drives away in reverse with screeching tires back to the entrance of the tunnel. The second policeman walks to the wrecked Mercedes and feels Britain's pulse again. Keep your spirits up, beautiful, he yells. The ambulance is coming, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk.